Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain how to use Python's built-in map function. So the map function takes in a function as its first parameter and an iterable as its second parameter. And what it does is it returns an iterator that applies that function to every item of the iterable. Let's run an example to see exactly how this function works. So I have a function defined here called make even. This function takes in a single number and determines if it's odd by taking the modulus 2 of the number. If the modulus 2 is equal to 1, it means the number is odd, so it will just add 1 to the number to make it even. And then we have an else statement here just to return the number if it's already even. Down here I have a list called x that's just a list of random numbers, some even, some odd. And what I want to do is use my make even function on every number in this list. So one way you might think of doing this is to just create an empty list, let's call it y, and create a for loop. So let's do for num in x, and then we can do y.append, and then we can apply the make even function to num, and then we can just print y. And now when I run this, I should get a list of all even numbers. And yep, there we go. So that works, but the map function was specifically designed to handle this for you. So instead of this for loop, let's use our map function. So let's do y is equal to map. And remember, our first input needs to be our function. And our function here is make even. And then our second input needs to be our iterable, which is just our list of numbers called x. And so the map function is going to take our make even function and apply it to each of these numbers in our list. So we can run this and we get a map object here. So this is Python's way of trying to save memory. So what we can do here is change this to a list by wrapping this in list and we can run it again. And there we go. We have all of these numbers as even numbers. And so that's it. That is the basics of the map function in Python. And one more thing to address, because I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments on this, uh, you can absolutely use list comprehension in place of the map function. So here, let's just do make even num or num in x. And this will give us the same result. So we can run this and you'll see that we have the same result. Um, list comprehension and the map function can be used interchangeably. It's just kind of personal preference. Um, I personally like list comprehension more than I do the map function. I just feel like it's easier to read, but uh, it's just up to the programmer. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please leave a like and see you next time.